What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today I got Dean passing by me over here on the golf cart. Say what's up, Dean? Woo! Man, the one and only Dean Wilson right there, ladies and gentlemen. But that's not why we're here today. Right now, today, we are talking about the 2021 Keystone Cougar 364 BHL. Guys, this thing packs a punch. I really, really like this floor plan. It is a bunkhouse, but not in the way that you would expect. We have a, we got one king up front, we got a queen in the back, and we got another queen in the back. We got two queens and a king bed. Not to mention our dinettes and all that other good stuff. But I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for you. Be sure to stay tuned. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join my camping family. Hit that like button and drop me a comment down below, man. I love hearing from all my people out there online. So please, if you have any comments, some questions, concerns, drop me a little comment down there below. I try to reply to everybody that I can. So guys, let's get into it. Like I said, folks, 2021 Keystone Cougar 364 BHL. You know this has the climate guard protection. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to my video talking more about climate guard and what that's gonna do for you. But guys, we've got the Keystone RV Company Step Above by Mo Ride Solid Aluminum Steps. And then we are going to have the Linda Hand Handy Dandy handle right here, baby. Now we're gonna have two marine grade speakers up on the top as well as our big Solera awning with a nice LED strip. And the cool part is that we have two Solera awnings. So we got one over here towards the rear, and we have one over here on the front. Moving along, we're gonna have a GFCI outlet right here. Our big doors with the slam latch and our magnet doors. Love that. And that goes straight to our pass-through storage. Now in this pass-through, we will have our key TV set up for an outside entertainment, two GFCI outlets, our in-command system there, as well as our water hose and our 50 amp power cord. Beautiful, beautiful, I tell you. Gotta love the slam latch. And then we'll have one of our two 30 pound propane tanks here. Now guys, since we are talking about this Keystone Cougar, we of course are going to be pre-wired for the Furion Observation. So we've got two of these guys on the side and one of them on the rear. So we can see both of our blind spots as well as a backup camera, which is great. Going over here to the front, we're gonna have our beautiful Keystone Cougar windshield. And guys, that is glass. You'll notice that we've got a nice big LED strip up top as well as two here on the sides. We have a nice light right here to where we can see what we're doing as well as hitch vision. Guys, this is a patent that is patented by Keystone so you can see what the heck is going on whenever you're backing up to connect to this thing. Awesome. Industry's best three year limited structural warranty. And guys, we got the road armor by Lippard Components pin box with that pivoting head. And then we're going to have this nice cushion here. So it's gonna minimize chucking all of that good stuff our emergency breakaway cable and then here we will have our battery box which you know i'm going to get you hooked up with some batteries before you guys take off with this thing as well as our spare tire which is great now we'll have our docking lights right here as well as a vent for our battery because we do need to keep those batteries vented believe it or not now we're going to have one big slide over on that side one here for the bedroom and a second here on the passenger side for our living room and kitchen area let's talk about some weights unloaded vehicle weight 11 220 gvwr in this bad boy 14 grand 14 000 pounds ladies and gentlemen and then in here we'll have our second 30 pound propane tank and then we get to this th this side of the pass-through storage now you'll notice this guy is on air shocks because we do have this bedroom slide don't want to damage this door so it's a great feature that they did put those air shocks there for us now guys we are pre-wired and ready to go for zamp solar charging and we also have a battery disconnect right there which is super awesome whenever this thing is put up and we are not using it not going to draw any power from the batteries and guys we do have the electronic leveling kit by Lippert components there and as well as our Xantrex Freedom 2000 sine wave inverter guys that bad boy right there is going to make sure that your power is nice and level throughout no power surges no nothing like that let's take a look at our wet bay 
We'll have our outside shower, a nice clicky light there on the top, pre-wired for that ZAMP solar charger, our key TV, no splitters anywhere. So we've got one battery disconnect here. We've got another one right here. Awesome stuff. And then we'll have our winterized hot water heater bypass, our winterized valve, winterized on and off, city water connection, tank flush, black tank, and gray tank. Man, what more could you ask for? Beautiful. And then we have a spot where we can run all of our plumbing without having to keep this big pass-through door open. Now we do have our hot water heater right here. Whenever you winterize your unit, you're definitely want to, gonna wanna make sure that you come inside and pay attention to this stuff. And we do have that die core that's over there, making sure that this thing is getting good and sealed. And then we have the uh, Dometic furnace exhaust. Awesome true fit slides on this guys all four corners are going to move in all at the same time making sure you have that very even even slide fix so one two three four point auto level system on this bad boy this is an electric auto leveling system and then we are going to have our sewer dove here as well as over there hope you can see it because we do have a bath and a half in this bad boy awesome stuff all right, guys, we'll have our city water, excuse me, our fresh water connection here. I like that they put it behind that locked box. That way nobody can mess with it and put some things that is not supposed to go in your fresh water tank. Guys, you know we're pre-wired for that Keystone RV camera right up there. We've got our big bad ladder so we can hop on the roof and get a good look at those two AC systems as well as our WineGuard 360 Air Plus. Now back here, we're going to have a good amount of storage especially for the rear of an RV. And guys, of course, this is a 50 amp service unit. We do have the magnet door and the slam latch on this puppy. And we also have a hitch on this thing, guys. So this thing is not for towing. This is going to be a 300 pound capacity. So this is a great option to put a rack on the back so you can do things like your grill or if you want to haul around some coolers or bikes or a moped, different stuff like that. So not for towing, but is to have fun. Now over here in our outdoor kitchen, I done forgot to unlock this one piece. Give me just one moment, folks. All right. So in our outdoor kitchen, oh man, so many keys, so little time. Am I right? Yes, I am. There we go. There it is. Right here, magnet doors. Oh, love that, so satisfying. We'll have our small little hot point refrigerator as well as our Capital Grill. Check that bad boy out. Still got the packaging on it. And you know that if we're gonna run this grill or a griddle or anything else, we've got to have a propane quick connect. And what that guy is going to do is hook in down underneath here right here to your propane quick connect we also have a sewer hose container so we can contain that thing and not bring any unwanted bathroom odors in your pass-through or in this rear storage over here or anything like that but guys this thing is great really love all these features on the outside man it's a little muddy over here we just had some rain over here in normal which rain is a good thing don't get me wrong but man we got so much of it. I'm about tired of it, man. I need some, some sunshine, some good weather. I want to wipe off these boots. And guys, like I said, if you have any questions, some comments, please drop them down there in the comment section below. I definitely love to hear from you guys, but I know you're tired of looking at my ugly mug. Let's go inside. In here. Wipe my feet off. Man. What do y'all think about this? Drop me a comment down below and let me know some of your initial impressions. Tell you what, let's start over here. In here, right whenever you walk in, you're gonna have two doors, both exposing that humongous pantry. Holy crap. How much food could you guys put in there? Enough to last a long time, that's how much. So you got one shelf down there, two here, two more, two more, and two more above that. How cool. And then you're gonna have your breaker panel and fuse box right there. And guys, these are thick. They're like residential 
quality doors. I hope you hear that slam because, I mean, these suckers are heavy duty. That's the real deal. In floor heat vents so we can get that heat rising to make us nice and toasty on the inside. Guys, we got the four person dinette on this bad boy. Of course, we're going to be able to make this thing into a sleeper. And then, you know that we've got some storage down underneath those seats on both sides. Great stuff. Let's look at this little cheat sheet here, guys. 4G LTE and Wi-Fi prep because we have that WineGuard Air 360 Plus up top. Key TV with no splitters, giving you the clearest connection out there. In-floor heating dust is going to allow airflow to distribute heat evenly. We have the Blade High Flow uh, Performance AC System, guys. And we have that duck joiners too. True Fit Slide Construction, that automotive grade painted front cap. Easy color-coded wiring. Guys, all of the furniture and the colors is by Amy Gray. I really do love the feel that this gives you. And then that Cougar roof mount satellite prep. Auto control 3.0 auto leveling system. That in command system, guys, you can run just about this whole thing off of your phone, which is awesome. That climate guard protection package, which again, I'm going to have a link below. That Cougar off the grid solar inverter prep and optional solar package. Of course, you can't forget about the HyperDeck high performance water resistant RV floor. That road armor suspension and pin box. 81 gallons worth of fresh water in our big fifth wheels. We talked about our Furion observation preparation and that two inch receiver hitch, guys. Beautiful stuff. Awesome theater seating here. Now guys, this is the Allure collection. Cool part about these things is we do have our ejecto seat. We have a light for in here. We also have massage and heat in both of these seats as well as a little cubby to put all your remotes beautiful now we will have the black amount shades in this bad boy and what i like about this thing is that we have the valances to go with it so whenever these shades are down you're not going to have to worry about anybody peeking in because they're not going to be able to do so but guys look at these views tons of views on these windows i love it Ooh, what's going on back there who can't tell you yet we got to talk about the rest of this kitchen first like this big old 4K Ultra HD TV, man. This thing is huge. Big old Summit TV. It is on a TV mount, so we can swivel this guy around and move it around to get your best viewing pleasure. Key TV, outlets to fire up the TV. We've got some storage up above. And guys, again, this thing is a Cougar, so you know it's going to be built very, very sturdy. Here's our Furion infotainment system, guys. We can do an aux cord, headphones, USB, Bluetooth, AM, FM, you name it. We can also hook this thing up to the TV to get your TV sound everywhere. Little storage cubbies there. And then, man, our huge Inno Flame electronic fireplace, guys. Multicolor flame. We're also going to be able to change those colors from four different ones and change the brightness up and down as well as the heat. You've got a remote control for this thing as well as a sleep timer so you don't fall asleep with it on and burn yourself up whenever you wake up in a cold sweat. Beautiful, beautiful Harrier four-door residential refrigerator. Look at all that space in there, man. This thing still smells brand new. And you've also got plenty, plenty of space here in the freezer as well. Man, you even got your own ice maker. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Now here, guys, check out this island. Solid, solid surface. You have the dual sink, two wells with the gooseneck faucet. Pulls down, you got a couple other spray modes. Beautiful stuff. Now underneath the sink, a bunch of storage as well as our sink topper. So those guys do double as a cutting board. And then we're going to have a bunch of drawer space here guys and these are on steel ball bearings they are reinforced to hold a lot of weight on these things and they glide super super easily beautiful now over here we're gonna have our Furion three burner gas stove as well as our oven we're gonna have some storage underneath so we can put some pots and pans and stuff like that in there up above we'll have our high point residential microwave with that vent fan underneath Plenty of space in there to cook up some bad food. Storage up top. Little cubbies over here to the side. A few outlets over here. And then 
more storage, man. You guessed it. All right, let's see what this whole bunk room is all about. I've, I know I've hyped it up a lot. I know, I know, I know. But I really think you guys are gonna like this. This is really, really cool. Check this out. Check out our queen bed there. Beautiful big old queen with a ton of storage here. And check out the windows, man. So we've got our, our rear bed, our queen bed, that whenever we lift up and look underneath, that is going to that door that we were just at in the very back. So you can put stuff in the back and then have access to it while you're in the camper. Awesome stuff. Emergency exits on both of these windows in case something does happen, God forbid. Now you'll have two USBs, two three prongs, a little storage over here, and then a big, hey everybody, bunch of mirrors on this thing and a bunch of storage man you get you got a whole hanging closet there and then underneath these beautiful drawers that are going to come out how awesome is that guys really really love the design of this floor plan i think that this this second bedroom is so super cool we've got the accordion style shades here as well beautiful stuff but who wants to have the shades up whenever you got views on views man now, going up above, we've got this awesome, very sturdy ladder that we can stick the feet out just like so. And then we can hop aboard to our second loft, guys. Now, this guy is a full size. We have our AC right there that does have a dump feature so we can cool this person off super well. We have a cubby over there. And I tell you what, guys, I'm going to get my big old butt up here and show you. So you got your cubby hole here some outlets, USBs, and a place for a TV up here, man. What more do you want? And an, an awesome window with an emergency exit, guys. And if you've got your kiddos up here, fear not, you've got this rail here that's gonna make sure that they don't fall out and bust their noggin. Man, how cool is this? And guys, we do have another mounting spot for a TV right here with our key TV. Here's a great look at the blade system. So if you guys notice that little fin back there, we can turn this guy to where if that fin is facing away from the AC, that is going to give you more airflow coming out of this thing. And then if we put that vent over towards that AC, less airflow out of that particular vent. Beautiful. Let's see if I can do this without busting my butt and filming this for you guys. All right, here we go. All right, we made it. Yeah. And then, we're in the bathroom. So we have a bath and a half. Cool part about this is that we do have the door that goes out, guys. Beautiful, solid surface sinks, GFCI outlets, our nice clicky lights for us, a towel rack, as well as a medicine cabinet with a beautiful mirror on it, foot flush commode, and another drawer. Now guys, one thing that I did neglect to mention is that over here, we have another outside shower. That's right, because you got two of them. Beautiful stuff. Let's go back inside this thing. All right. Guys, drop me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite features are of this thing. Here's another quick look at our living room and kitchen setup. Huge pantry storage, guys. That is awesome cute little drunk octopus hanger for you there and then here is our in command system guys now this is fully touch screen cool part about this is that you can run almost every aspect of your camper through your phone so you can download the in command app and do things like your slides your awnings your lights different stuff like that you can do now guys while we're up here we are going to have awesome fantastic fans gonna get rid of any hot air and unwanted bathroom odors and guys, you'll notice that on a lot of RVs, you're gonna have this handle going up the stairs over on this side to face those exterior studs. Now, the thing about Cougars is they are built solid. Man, I'm yanking on this thing, I can't move it at all. I really like that they put it over on this side that shows the construction and the craftsmanship taken in these Cougars. Let's talk about this master bathroom. Beautiful Dometic foot flush commode. We do have a towel rack as well as an attic fan to get rid of any unwanted bathroom odors. Again, with that blade AC system and this beautiful curved shower, guys. Check this thing out. 
Man. Beautiful shower head. Plenty of space in there. Really love this design. And we do have that skylight up above as well. Medicine cabinet again with that mirror. Plenty of storage underneath there. Solid surface, baby. GFCI outlets. Full extension drawers. Nice and slidey like butter. And then some more storage there. Awesome stuff, guys. Now, let's get into the bedroom. In here, we have got a big bad bed. And underneath this big bad bed, we've got some storage, man. Look at all that. Plenty of storage. Speaking of storage, on both sides, you got a couple of drawers, as well as some nice clicky LED lights, two prong, excuse me, three prong outlets and two USBs on both sides, folks. Three prongs, two USBs. I love the windshield in this thing, man. Whenever you guys were laying down, you can look up above your head and see some beautiful night skies. See the views on views. We got some awesome mirrors over here as well for our closet. All right, where we can hang up a bunch of our fancy clothes. And then underneath that, we got a couple of big bad drawers. Man, awesome stuff. I'm a big fan of this floor plan. I think that that rear bunk room is so cool and you have a lot of versatility in this thing. So you can either have this as a bunk house with all of the kids. If you guys wanted to take an adult camping trip and leave all the kiddos at home with the grandparents, this is the way to do it. So you can sleep two, you can sleep a couple down here on this queen bed, a couple up there on the loft. You can sleep the other couple over here, man. I mean, this is, this is great. Big fan of this thing, love the island. Love, love, love that rear room, guys. And if you do too, let me know. Drop me a comment down below. And if you could see yourself camping in this thing, please let me know. I would love to sell this thing to you and make you a great deal. They do not pay me to make these videos, guys. I do this because I love it and I love interacting with all of my internet customers out there. I hope that you guys enjoy my content. And if you do, be sure to join my camp and family and hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and drop me a comment down below, guys. It really helps, and I love seeing all the feedback that I get from you guys. But, like I said, if you can see yourself in this thing, let me know. I'm going to have my phone number, email, Facebook, inventory website, and a link to Keystone's website so you can learn more about this Cougar and all the other cool floor plans that they make. But guys, just like that, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you soon.